Thank you very much, Tom. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Matthijs, and together with my partner, Guy Clairbois, we founded Vangelitic. Um, basically, uh, two years ago, after I uh, quit my job in an investment firm in the Netherlands, uh, where we were doing uh, primarily software buyout deals, and I found myself in this paradox. On the one hand, we were investing in very innovative companies, but on the other hand, we were also using very old-fashioned and inefficient ways and tools to work with. So resulting in the fact, for example, that we had to work until mi midnight to fix these efficiencies, as you see more often in this uh, investment world. Uh, on the other side, we also saw new entrants entering the market at a rapid pace. Um, when you look at private equity investors that are active in the market worldwide, for around 2000, we had around, around 1,500 of them. And in 2018, this amount nearly tripled towards nearly 5,000 active private equity investors in the market. And the same trend we see as, as corporates entering the market. For example, Salesforce uh, is also buying uh, smaller startups to become more in innovative, but also to grow in a non-organic uh, organic way. So these investments of the corporate industry nearly doubled in this period. So we see that the role of the investment manager is really changing over time, and they have to reinvent themselves. So the former added value is actually eaten up, and you have to bring more to the table to close a deal than just capital. You have to even bring more than smart capital. And what if you don't? If you don't, you start losing deals to more innovative competitors in the market. Um, in the end, you still want to close some deals, so you are going to overprice and resulting in pressure for your returns. Eventually, hopefully not, resulting in uh, pressure for your fundraising process. And we see this popping up in the newspapers from time to time. This market is becoming overcrowded. And our vision is that uh, investors first have to solve their problems and the investors that do best will survive. So these are the main problems investors currently have. First, they don't want to miss a good deal. Makes, makes a lot of sense, right? Second problem is they sit on a lot of data. They're in the middle of a web of, of portfolio companies, other stakeholders, and are having action to a lot of data, but struggle to make these data actionable. And the third point is they every month or quarter again, they struggle to get the reporting right, not only for portfolio companies, but also to report to their own LPs and stakeholders. So they basically need something that makes sure they never lose a deal anymore. Um, second, they, that extracts insights out of all the data they have uh, insight to and communicates easily with, all, with everyone involved. And that's something uh, we have been doing in the past and we made a solution that basically pulls leads through a funnel for the investors, uh, automatically creating follow-up tasks and events. What we also did is we combined quantitative data with qualitative data and we integrated them together to connect the dots and make sure the insights were really useful. Basically, what we, what we try to achieve is present the opportunity an investor has on a silver plate, leaving them with the only thing and most, inf most fun thing to do is close the deal. As uh, Tom just mentioned, there's a bright future in front of us. We just uh, passed the security review and are almost live on the App Exchange and we're launching our first customers by the end of this quarter. So thank you very much for your attention.